Yeah, because explain to us, in many places in the world, when you don't have soap, you could have clean water, you could have food, you could have all kinds of things. But if you don't have soap, you, you can't kill bacteria. You really can't. And, and I'm telling you, I, I joke all the time that when I go to an American restaurant and I go to the bathroom, they have this little sign that says, all employees must wash their hands. Well, what about us? <laughs> Everybody should wash their hands. I mean, come on. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Come on. Are you kidding me? But yeah, you know, we, we lose two million kids every year, two million, to issues to have, that have to do with hand washing, diarrhea. I mean, seriously, imagine in the U.S. alone, if you read the AJC, the Atlanta General Constitution last week, 14,000 Americans die every year due to this thing of cold sanitation. Yeah. So it's not just an African thing or a, a, a Latin American thing. Soap is the most important thing in sanitation in health. So explain to us the process. You see soap bars that aren't being used yes. and you get an idea to do what? To do? To recycle. Yeah. And what we did, we first thing we took the bars, sanitized them, and what we do is we break them down into what we call spiders. We shave off the first layer, which is the first part of the soap, and we get into the inner layer, we break that down, then we moisturize the soap, we put it in a machine and we heat it to about 225 degrees, and out comes a beautiful bar of soap with this machine. So what I did, I had to find a machine, and I cashed in my 401k <laughs> to the chagrin of my wife. Every time we have a fight at home, she's like, and you cashed in our 401k. I'm like, what does that have to do with this, you know? Come on. Anyway. That's what wives do. Yeah, wives, are, wives do. Oh, we, we love them. We just say, yes, ma'am, yes. yes. I won't do it again. Uh, Just promise her. Yeah, promise yeah her. I, I, I should promise her. Okay. But anyway, so that's what I did, and we have a factory here in, in Norcross. And then once the soap comes out, we make about 10,000 bars of soap every day, if we can do full function. We are fully volunteers, driven, and we've given away 125,000 bars of soap. <laughs> Is that amazing or what? Soap that would have been thrown away and put into a landfill yes. is now given away all across the world. So what can we do to help? Well, I'm not going to be shy. Let me see. A donation. How about that? How, about, how much do I have to give to get your hat? If I, if I give how much, I can have your hat. And that's a faux pas. It's not a hat. It's a chapon. It's a chapon. Oh, I'm just kidding. You. <laughs> it's a hat. Um, if you hadn't noticed, Derek is the best dressed man in the whole room. So, he, uh, clean and handsome. Man. Oh, I will pay you after this. So I'll definitely pay you after this. But, so, uh, so we can, we can donate? So we can, but the big thing is, for one dollar, I can give about 20 bars of soap away. Wow. One dollar. Wow. You can also vote for us. Uh, CNN Heroes, please go vote for us to win this award because it will bring light to this issue of sanitation globally. And, and we have a slide, I think, that will tell you how you can do that. You can yeah. go to CNN.com yeah. and, and be able to, uh, to actually see and vote directly for Derek. I think it would be pretty amazing if Catalyst was the crew that put Derek over the top in the CNN hero. Oh, order. my I think God, that would, that would be, be fantastic. I think that would be a really cool that thing. Cool. And then when we stay at a hotel, yeah. we can pass on your website and information to yes. say, please don't waste your soap. The soap yes. that I use, would you please donate it to my friend Derek? He's very handsome and he shares his soap. So, and if we're going uh, to different places in the world, yeah. can we take soap with us to share with people? You, you can. You can come to a factory or you can call us and we can give you soap. One of the biggest people taking soap are missionaries. Yeah. When Haiti happened, the earthquake happened, we got churches coming to our factory taking soap there. So we can actually give you soap. You can actually take it down there. If you have a container going to any part of the world where you're doing clean water projects or anything, Call us and take some soap with you. We think that's great, don't you, Catalyst? Let's, um, let's say a prayer and thank God for Derek. Take a moment and you can go to, CNN, to heroes.cnn.com.